This video will discuss how to make the scatter and line charts that you see in front of you in Excel. Now we're going to be using the Kirkland file. Uh, there's two Kirkland files. We want the one that's just Kirkland. Um, that's kirkland.xlsx on the D2L data files. Now you've heard me complain about Excel from time to time in our class and here's why. If you think it's as simple as selecting your data and making a scatter chart, well you'd be wrong. Why? Because F you, that's why. Yep, that's what Excel says. It pretty much says, I see your text and I raise you apathy. It can't be bothered. It's a scatter chart. And because it's a scatter chart, it's uh, not going to do this. It is assuming that uh, if you're going to give it data, it's going to have to pull that from what's ordered here. Now, you'd think that it might be smart enough to know that these are abbreviations of dates. Well, you're not wrong, it just needs help. So it turns out that there is, in fact, a way to show Excel that these are workable dates, and let's just say it's not worth it. I, I, I did figure it out, just, just to make sure I knew how to do it, and it's just not worth it. There's an easier workaround. And the reason we have to do it this way is because you can't get both charts from the PowerPoint we just looked at with any one kind of chart automatically. It's just not convenient. But here we are. So instead what we're going to do is use a line chart. Now the line chart gives us the second of the two charts we wanted, but it doesn't give us the first one. But at least it cooperates and it gives us the, 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 the months at the bottom, so that's nice. That's awfully convenient of it. Uh, but we have the issue that this line is in the way. Uh, now because we chose the type of chart that we did, which I should really explain a little better. So inside this, so the line chart options on the insert tab in the charts area, there are these 2D lines. And then I picked the one that had the shape that I wanted, which is this guy right here, line with markers. And so this gives us option number two. Now I'm gonna highlight it, oh, make a mistake, undo. Uh, select the chart, copy with control C, and then make a copy of it over here with paste. Now, I can edit this one, and I don't think it'll affect this, we'll find out. Maybe it may be linked, I'm not sure what Excel does with it, we'll find out. Uh, so I wanna get rid of this line here. So it turns out it's not actually that hard. It's easier to take things away than it is to add them. So the first time I click on this line, you'll notice I'm getting the circles. These are called the markers. See the marker over here? Well, that's no good. What I want is the line. Uh, and that's okay, actually. Uh, even though it looks like you're not getting the line, you are. Because with the, the line is being added automatically between the lines. Excuse me, excuse me, between the points. So actually, you have selected the line, even though it looks goofy. So, what we're going to do is just come over here to these line options, and hopefully it'll pop up for you. It's supposed to. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, you can click on this plus button. And uh, any of these things, you can choose more options. And then uh, you can choose this drop down. No, not this drop down. Where is it? Let's see. Plot area? Nope. Series 1. That's the one. Yeah. Choose Series 1, and that will give you the line. Now, again, it's supposed to come up if you just click on the line. But sometimes it's grumpy, and it doesn't. Uh, OK, so all we're going to do is choose the no line option. There you go. So while it's really annoying to just use the scatter chart tool when that's what it really seems like you want, that is actually by far and away not the easiest way to do it. Now, of course, we still need to go in and give ourselves a good title, give ourselves axes, labels, and all this kind of thing. But I, I think we don't need to make do that for every single video. You understand. The point is the concept of how to make the chart, and you've got it. So I'll leave you with that.